This is lesson 12 of 16 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. This lesson is about Joomla modules and the topics are understanding modules, creating a menu module, assigning modules to menu items and changing the module order. As you've heard from other lessons in this course, I break website content into two parts, primary content and secondary content. In Joomla, you create primary content in the Article Manager. You then link to that content by creating menus and menu items. Other content on a page, such as a newsletter sign up at the side, text in the footer, or a navigation menu, is secondary content. In Joomla, secondary content is mostly managed by modules. When you create a module, you assign it to a position in the template. That way, you can control if a module appears at the top, side or bottom. The available positions are determined by the template developer and as such, they vary from one template to another. You can create multiple modules in each position. And you can specify if a module appears on one page, several pages or all pages of the website. Modules are one of five types of Joomla extensions. This is discussed further in Lesson 15, but for now, I'll just mention that Joomla comes with some core extensions, such as menus and custom text, and there are hundreds of third-party modules available too. In the previous lesson, you learnt how to create a menu in Administrator. Menus are comprised of menu items that essentially create web pages. However, Joomla needs to know where the menu should appear on the front end and this is managed by a module. Modules are managed in Administrator at Extensions, Module Manager. This is the list of Joomla modules that are included with the sample data. To create a new one, click the green New button at the left of the Actions toolbar. There are several types of modules, and if you add third-party modules to your installation, those options will be added to this list. The basic process for creating a new menu module is as follows. 1. Click Menu. 2. Enter a title for the menu. 3. In the Select Menu drop-down, Select the appropriate menu that is to be displayed in the module. 4. Look for the drop-down option in the right column labelled Position. This is where you specify the name of the template position that will hold this module. Right now I'm going to ask you to trust me as I specify Position-7. I'll come back to this shortly. And step 5, in the Actions toolbar, click Save and Close. Go to the front end and refresh the page. The new menu type has been added to the right, and it includes the menu item that was created in the previous lesson. Clicking this link takes you to a page displaying that article. Let's recap what's happened now and in the previous lesson. In Lesson 11, a menu was created. Then one item was added to that menu that points to a single article. A menu module was created and assigned to a template position. Now that menu appears on the front end, and when a link is clicked, a page is generated containing the content specified in the menu item. The unanswered question is, how did I know which template position to specify? I'll discuss this in more detail in the templates lesson, but for now, just know that template developers provide a map containing the name of each position. 
Here is one for the default template. Note that there is a position at the right named position-7. Let me return to the module manager and edit the articles menu module. I can move the module to a different position by changing the position to position dash 8. Now on the front end, you'll see that the menu has moved to the left. And interestingly, this has turned the page into a three column layout. As there was nothing in the left column previously, it effectively didn't exist and so the page had a two column layout. However, as soon as the module was added, the page automatically changed accordingly. So that's the process for creating a menu module. As the Joomla core includes various modules, each with their own function and settings, the exact steps to creating a module does vary. The basics are always the same though. I'll go through this once more, this time creating a commonly used module that allows you to add secondary text and images. The steps are 1. Click New 2. Choose the module type, which in this case is Custom HTML. Step 3, enter a title. Step 4, select the position to display the module. Step 5, enter any other settings applicable to the module. With this particular module, you can enter text or images into the text box, much like a normal article. And step 6, save the module and refresh the front end to view the result. Modules can be displayed on all pages throughout the site or just pages you specify. Along the top of the main work area are some tabs and the current one is labelled Module. When you click the next one, Menu Assignment, you'll see a drop-down box labelled Module Assignment. By default, this is set to On All Pages. From this box, select Only on the Pages Selected. A Menu Selection panel is then displayed, listing every item from every menu. To the left of these items is a checkbox and currently every item is checked. To specify which pages should display this module, you just click the corresponding menu item. If your site has as many pages as this sample site, it's going to take a long time to uncheck almost every box. So at the top of the list is a link next to Select labelled None. Click this to uncheck everything. Click All to recheck everything. Also, if you have a large site, it might be a hassle to find the menu you want, so next to Expand, you can click None. Now it's easy to find the menu I want, which is Main Menu, and expand its contents by clicking the plus symbol to the left of its heading. In this example, let's specify that the module appears on the home page and the article page I created earlier. Just click the corresponding boxes and save. Now return to the home page of the site and note that the Contact Us module appears on the home page and on the article page 
However, when you navigate to any other page, it's automatically hidden. There is one last thing to consider with modules. Let's say you have multiple modules in one template position and you want to change the order in which they're displayed. This is done in Module Manager using the ordering column. Let's make this a bit easier to work with by changing the position filter in the left panel to position-7. This will now only display the modules that have been assigned to position 7 in the template. Let's say that you always want the Contact Us module to appear at the bottom of the column. You need to initially activate the ordering column by clicking the double arrowhead at the top of the column. Then drag and drop the item to its desired position by clicking and dragging the icon to its left. Have a look at the front end, refresh, and you'll see that the Contact Us module is now fixed to the bottom of the column. Up until now, the content I've created has been just text, but images are essential on any website, so in the next lesson I'll show you how to insert them into your articles and modules. Here is a summary of the major points covered in this lesson. In Joomla, secondary content items are usually created with modules. Templates consist of several positions. Modules are assigned to a position. Template positions can display multiple modules. Modules can appear on all website pages or just pages you specify. And modules are created and managed on the Module Manager page in Administrator.